thought I'd do a little review on a camp stove I picked up from Amazon. I had been thinking about getting one of these little stoves as just, I really, honestly, I just have a lot of fun playing with various stoves and building fires. And, but I was thinking about one to put in my backpack on my shorter trips to have in the, in the, uh, as a replacement for like a regular fire pit. It's just a little metal box that folds flat and allows you to pack it easily in a backpack. Now the, the one that I found is made by Oak View, O-A-K-V-U-E. There's several other brands out there, but this one is a little bit different than the rest of them that, are, that I looked at because it's bigger. Now there are a bunch of, a bunch of other little no-name stoves. They're on the smaller side. Um, but I wanted to get this larger one just because um, I, th I just think it'll serve my purpose better. Now those little ones, they have a place, they have a purpose, but um, I really was looking for th something a little bit larger that might I might be able to cook on with like a, a full-size skillet. Here it is, it's Oak View. Now when you receive this, of course, it's not just covered like this. I already used it once just to try it out. Um, it's covered in plastic when you first receive it and I'll insert some pictures here You've got to peel all of that plastic off every little piece because you don't want that to um when you heat this thing up You don't want it to melt to make a mess So here it is it's some of the other stoves Were um, you had to assemble each piece this one is this one has uh, These little pins for hinges that one has already slid down. I'll have to work on that. It, this one is already mostly assembled. You just put the pin in the last corner. Um, and that's kind of what I like about this one. Uh, just a little bit easier, faster setup. Let me go ahead and show you what you get. You get your folding walls here. A base plate. That's where you, that holds the wood. You get two of these. These are cross beams for the top to put a... Uh, like a pot on it and then this particular one came with a, uh, a bellows that you can blow air in to uh, stoke up the fire this one right here this is a lighter you screw off this very end cap and you flick that and after you put lighter fluid in it and you have a little lighter uh, a little cheesy. I hadn't tried it. Anyway, it's a bellows. You can see all the way through that and you blow. It's just a pocket bellows. But to be sure, I mean, to use it as the pocket bellows, you uh, be sure you unscrew the lighter from the end of it so you can blow. I saw someone else do a review on this. And they did not realize you pull that off and they were trying to go like, like that and blow, which he made it look like it did something, but I'm not so sure. That's also got the Oak View brand on it. But yeah, remove that and blow through it. I might show that to you later. All right, let's get this thing assembled. Each one of the corners has a pin in it that holds them together. And like I said, this one already I'm seeing that's going to be an issue right there. That one keeps slipping down into there. It's got a flared end on it that's supposed to hold it, keep it from slipping out, but I may have to, I have to put a little bend on that to make it work better. Or tighten up the uh, roll there on that hinge. All right, so remove this pin. Your inside base that you put your wood on has three tabs on it and one flat side. Each one of the tabs is going to go into one of these slots here. So you'll face your flat side to the front. I'll just put that one in that slot. The second one. And the third one. Put the hinges together here. And slide your pin through. And it is assembled. And then you would put your these two pieces if you're planning on putting a smaller diameter pot in here. Alright, they show in the pictures to assemble this thing, 
by doing putting those two slots together setting it in where this thing dips down and I guess that's fine if you're planning on using a smaller hot and you want it to sit in closer to the fire or even if you wanted to use a little gas stove and sit in here this would get it closer to the fire if you wanted to use a pot that doesn't quite fit in here but it's not large enough to extend over this and sit stable much like this right here and that might sit but that makes me just a little bit nervous i don't see where those cross pieces would do any good in that position and they did not list any alternate way of using it they didn't, exp they didn't have a whole lot of instruction for this thing but i found out if you just pick that up turn it over And reinsert in those slots that you now this becomes just about level and you can put a pot like this on there without a problem without worrying that it's gonna slip and fall it's just something to make note of with yours if you choose to purchase this all right let's fire this thing up Today, I'm going to use what always works really well for me is some, uh, this is some cotton that came out of a pill bottle. And sometimes you, the, what that comes in it is a big chunk of cotton. You can also buy these strips in like hair product stores that they have the, uh, this cotton goes, or like when uh, women who do permanents on their hair, they'll use this stuff to put around the edge of their hairline to keep the uh, drips out of their face so that's another place you can find that and um petroleum jelly that's all that is is plain old petroleum jelly most people call it vaseline but that's a brand name yes it's messy and technically what i have done is i have coated this stuff and then put it back down into a medicine bottle leave it in a long strand have it all coated and i poke it down in the bottle as i coat as i coat this so I can pull out what I need and cut it off. It's already pre-coated. Um, anyway, I'm going to... There's a wasp and it better go away. Just wrap this around a stick. Wipe off any excess. Before I pick up a lighter and light that, I will just clean my hands. Now, I'm going to put, let's see, I'm just going to put a couple pieces in here. Set this on top of. After I light it, all right. As soon as I light it, I'm gonna put that in, and then start adding some wood. Generally, will catch up pretty well. The thing I like about this little stove is if you're in a place where the wind is picked up and you can't keep a fire going in a like a fire pit, this uh this will block help block the wind. Alright, you will have already wanted to grab selected lots of little twigs and little branches and broken down into smaller pieces prior to starting your fire. You can also buy some little uh, small fire starters, little pieces of, uh, I think it's oil, oil impregnated uh, cotton, basically. Basically what I did. Is that mine's petroleum jelly?
So you just get all your bunch of wood up in here. Get that going. Be careful not to choke it out. Then you get your lighter away from the fire. After I get this going, I'm going to see how long it takes to boil. I've got five cups of water in this little percolator. You need to be sure when you're rounding up your uh, twigs and stuff that you have enough to make a to last a while. They, it goes pretty quick uh, using small stuff like this. I'm guessing I did pick up a few larger item, larger pieces that might burn longer. I'll do that. Yeah, little bug. Get away from your bug. You're going to burn. Don't do that. You need to go away. Nope. Woo! Okay. Oh, wow. So that's a nice little fire. Recently, when I was on a backpacking trip on the Appalachian Trail, I ran into a guy uh, named Slow Mo who carried a little fire pit. It wasn't like this. His was, uh, it was a round one that packed in itself didn't fall flat so it took up you know a fair amount of room in his pack but he liked to have a fire near his tent so he could lay in his tent and watch it and not have to go uh like up to the shelter and use the fire pit there with other people because he wanted to lay down and, re and rest and watch a fire so he would build use his little fire thing roll back his vestibule open it up and then build his little fire right outside the tent and that was convenient he could do that without disturbing the ground underneath and then it was perfect for him. All right, now I'm going to put this uh, percolator on the thing. I've got five cups of water in here. I want to show you something. I, you may not can see it in the camera. Well, yeah, you can. I have rubbed um, Dawn dishwashing soap on this because when you put anything like this on open fire, it gets suited up really bad. But if you'll rub the outside, now I didn't go real high up this time, uh, but if you'll rub the outside with some dish detergent, soap, something like that, uh, when you get it suited up, all you have to do is rinse it under the faucet and it comes right off. You don't have to scrub. Just a little tidbit of information there. Alright, so as you see your sticks burning through, just keep poking them back in there. And you see how quickly that burned off. Need to get back up in there, little dude. Alrighty. Ooh, that's pretty good fire now. And we'll know when this is boiling. I, I know you can't see it in the camera, but um, the little percolator on the top, will, you'll see the water per percolating. I actually hear the water beginning to uh, heat up, to roll. I kind of like this. I mean, you don't have to have a big old honking fire ring have an enjoyable fire. Oh, well, you can hear it already. It's boiling. That was about four minutes, I think. I'm going to get this thing off of here without burning myself. I didn't bring out a uh, pot holder. All right, I don't have any use for any boiled water right now. Whoops, almost dumped it over on my feet. It weighs right around a pound. I think it's 1.1, maybe. I wouldn't carry this on a long backpacking trip unless I was going to try to take this instead of my gas 
stove and fuel bottle. Oh yeah, let me get my <clears throat> little pocket bellows out and use it. I've been carrying a small uh, pocket bellows on my last trips in the last couple of years uh, because whenever we have a campfire, it's much, much easier to blow through this than it is to lean in and try to blow the fire. And it, it just helps stoke up a fire so quickly. See how fast that lit up? They are well worth it. They're cheap too. You can find them on Amazon. Cheap, cheap. I love playing with fire. I'm not a pyromaniac, but um, I love little stoves. I, you see this fire pit that I, I grill on. Um, I cook. I build a fire down in here and put my skillets and stuff on top. I just love stoves. Little backpacking stoves. I've got, gosh, four or five of them. Now this one makes six, I think. Or five. I can't remember if it's five or six. And then I'm probably going to end up getting one of the little gasifier stoves that's supposed to be smokeless. I'll probably get one of those too. They're pretty cool. They just don't pack down as small as this. This is this one I got specifically for putting in my backpack. Now, some of the other versions I was telling you about earlier, it's a good bit smaller than this. I think it's only, at max, it's four inches. And they pack down smaller, but then they don't have the hinges. They have a bunch of pins. You put everything together and you put the pins in every time. This one's designed so that you can fold it flat. You don't have to do that much assembly. There you have it. There's the Oakview Folding Wood Burning Stove. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you'd like to see more, subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell for notifications. And as always, y'all have a great day.